Hello guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about Brody, one of the most popular and strongest marksmen in the current meta, and also talk about how Brody works in full details, so let's get straight into the video. Brody is a unique marksman hero who excels at dealing high damage to single targets. His abilities all have relatively low cooldowns which makes him more deadly. In this video, I will try covering everything you need to know in order to master this hero, which includes, his skills, builds, emblem, and most importantly, how to use him in a match, so make sure you watch till the end, and stay tuned throughout this tutorial as I reveal the secrets of mastering Brody, and ensuring you don't miss out on a single game-changing move. As always, to master a hero, you must understand how their passive works, so let's start with Brody's passive. With the help of his passive, Brody is able to move while winding up his basic attacks, at the cost of having longer basic attack animation, and lower attack speed bonus. Each basic attack deals physical damage, and it also increases your movement speed and inflicts one stack of abyss mark on the enemy, meaning every time you hit an enemy, they get marked with your abyss mark, which can get stacked up to four times. Each stack of Abyss Mark increases your damage and movement speed against the targeted enemy. Remember that, each stack of the Abyss Mark increases Brody's damage against the target by 5%, and also increases his movement speed by 5%. And each Mark of Abyss, lasts for up to 8 seconds. So it basically means, the more you hit an enemy, the more damage you'll deal against that target. Now, let's move on and talk about his first skill. With the help of his first skill, Brody launches a shockwave in the designated direction, dealing 150 physical damage, and slowing the enemies by 30% for 1.2 seconds, and the enemies also get applied with one stack of abyss mark when you hit them with your first skill. Remember that, this is your bread and butter skill, so after your ultimate, make sure to max out your first skill abyss impact with the help of your first skill abyss impact slow effects combined with the bonus movement speed of brody's passive it gives you immense fighting ability which is really helpful while fighting with the enemies and also here as you can see i placed three bots in a straight line and i used my first skill on them and take note that the first enemy which got hit by my first skill has only one abyss mark while the second one has two abyss mark, followed by the third one with three abyss mark. Most people would ignore these little details, but it comes really handy when you truly want to master a hero. Now, let's talk about his second skill. You can dash to an enemy, dealing 200 physical damage to the target, and stunning them for 0.8 seconds, and also inflicting one stack of abyss mark on them. There are two parts to his second skill Corrosive Strike. Firstly, when you cast it on an enemy in range, Brody will dash into the enemy's face. It might seem like you're diving towards your death, but once it stuns them, he will move in the direction of your movement wheel. This mechanic means that you have the ability to reposition unpredictably in a fight and catch enemies off guard. And what's good about this skill is that, you can also use it on jungle creeps, and it's a great skill for chasing or running away from enemies. The timing of when, on which target, and where you choose to position will separate a great Brody player from a good one. But the downside of his second skill is that, it is a single target spell, so even though you may want to stun a target, other opponents can get the better of you in a team fight as you'll be putting yourself in close quarters, and vulnerable to CC skills. So I'd recommend you don't use his second skill in a team fight, and only use it when you are in a 1 vs 1 situation, or wait for the enemies that can stun you to use up their skills. Now, let's talk about his ultimate and final skill. With the help of his ultimate, Brody locks on all the targets within 8 yards, dealing physical damage to them. If the target has an abyss mark, all abyss marks will be reset, dealing physical damage equal to a base damage plus a percentage of physical attack and targets lost HP for each stack the target has. His ultimate stacks upon abyss marks, and you should always use it as a finisher unless the enemies are one hit from dying. 
You can move or flicker away during the animation of his ultimate as it is not a channel. What's good about his ultimate is that the moment a target is locked on after you auto attack or land your other skills on them, even if they walk out of range, they will still get hit. And never use your ultimate without marking the enemies with your abyss. If the enemies have no abyss mark, his ultimate is pretty much useless. So always mark your enemies with your abyss, before casting your ultimate. The best way to use your ultimate, is by casting your first skill and marking the enemies with abyss and then ulting. Or you can also use your second skill to stun and mark them with abyss and then press his ultimate. His ultimate has a short cooldown duration, so don't be afraid to be decisive. Now that we're done with explaining how his skills and passive works, let's talk about his emblem, battle spell, and builds. Let's start with his battle spell. Like all other marksmen, Brody is vulnerable to assassins, mages, and hard crowd control, so general rules still apply. Meaning Flicker is a great battle spell for you to get away from enemies looking to lock on you. You can also use it to chase down dying opponents. And if you're up against a dominant hero in the lane, you can opt for the Aegis battle spell, it will provide you insurance to stay longer in fights, and also protect you against single burst damage heroes. So make sure to choose it according to the enemy's draft. Now, let's talk about his emblem and talents. For his emblem, the assassin emblem is the best for Brody, and for his talents, I'd recommend using the Rapture, as it gives extra adaptive penetration bonus, which is really useful in the laning phase during the early to mid game, followed by Weapon Master and Quantum Charge. Before we move on and talk about his builds, here's some fun facts you probably didn't know about Brody. Brody is the 100th hero in the game, and Brody was originally called Prati. And also did you know, Brody is the only marksman who doesn't wield a weapon. In the advanced server, Brody's basic attack movement animation was a walking movement before being replaced by its current movement animation, levitating. If you didn't know these facts about Brody, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Now, let's talk about his builds. For his builds, instead of attack speed, prioritize building physical attack items. Here are the best builds for Brody, you can choose any of these depending on the situations. Start by buying boots, and then purchase Blade of the Heptsies, followed by Blade of Despair, and then, Mailfic Roar. And for his last two items, I'd recommend you to go defensive items, like Athena's Shield, or Wind of Nature, depending on the enemies. Now, let's talk about how to use him in a match. The first thing you'll notice when you first play Brody is how unusually slow his auto attacks are. They take time to wind up, and you'll definitely need time to get used to the animation timing, especially when it comes to last hitting minions. Similar to Irritant, Brody can reposition during the wind-up animation of his basic attack. On top of that, landing a basic attack grants him additional movement speed, which allows you to reposition further. But it becomes really difficult to use him when the opponent picks heroes with high burst damage and high CC effects. As you can see in this gameplay, I got targeted by Johnson and Lancelot the entire game. And if you didn't know, Johnson and Lancelot is a good counterpick against Brody, and there's not a lot you can do in situations like these, especially if you can't get close to the enemies without getting stunned. So if you find yourself in a situation like this, wait for the right time, and join the teamfight, right after you see the heroes that can kill you use up their skills. Remember that positioning and timing is the key, especially when the enemies are targeting you. And always expect the enemies to target you when you are using Marksman and Mage Heroes, because these two roles are the main damage dealers in a teamfight. Overall Brody is a very strong fighter, he has high burst damage and can easily take down enemies in a few seconds. He is also very mobile, making it difficult for enemies to catch him. However, Brody also has some weaknesses. He has a slow attack speed and is relatively squishy. This means that you need to be careful in teamfights and avoid getting caught out. You also need to be careful of enemy crowd control, as this can disable him and make him vulnerable. 
So what do you think about Brody? And make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.